Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scogwell and today we'll be taking a look at the levels adjustment layer in Affinity Photo. It's a really awesome tool to help you increase contrast and uh, get the, the image lighting just the way you want it. And you can also target specific colors with it and I'll show you all how to do it in color spaces. Uh, it's pretty much nothing left to say about it other than let's just jump into it. Uh, please, if you like this, um, this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button and leave your comments down below if you want to see uh, any other tutorials of Affinity Photo. Let's get to it! Hey, welcome back. We're inside of Affinity Photo right now. This is the photo we'll be using to illustrate what the levels adjustment layer can do. This is just the 101 on it. So you can either exit it from up here on layers, go down to new adjustment layer uh, levels, and you're going to get this box up, or go down here to adjustments, click it, and it's the first one. And here we can see a histogram, and that is basically where all the tonal ranges are in the image. On this left side here, that is the dark tones, so shadows, absolute blacks, the dark ones. Over here on the right of the histogram is all the, the highlights, the whites, all the lighter tones. And here we can see is all where most of the tones are. On this side, the right side, the highlight side, there isn't really a lot of information right here. So we're going to adjust that. And the same here on the uh, dark tones, the shadows, absolute blacks. So we're gonna, if you just take this black level, slide it to the right, you can see you make the darks darker, everything just turns black. And if we go here on the white level and move that left, we start blowing out the whites and everything turns completely white in the end. So we're gonna make it, this image looks kind of flat right now, so we're gonna give it some more contrast. And a good tip is to hold down Alt or Option, and then press black level and start moving. You can see it turns black. We're going to start moving it slowly to the right. And there we can start to see a clipping, which means that we're now just touching on, on where the histogram starts. Same thing on the white tones or the lighter parts. So we're going to hold down Alt Option, click this note just bring it in to the left until we start seeing some clipping. There we can start to see. If we go more, we see a lot more. And there is just where we start seeing clipping. So now we shouldn't have anything that is blown out or completely black. We should see some details on everything here. And if I hide this for a quick second, we can see that we have made a whole lot of difference already. I don't need that. That was the first one we uh, took off. And if you accidentally close it, it's no big deal. You just double click on it and it comes back in. So now we have, you can see this is RGB here in master. Under RGB here, that is the color space. So <clears throat> we're going to stick with RGB on this video because that's what you most likely will be doing if you're looking at how to use the levels adjustment. And then we have the master here. Master is RGB, so red, green, and blue. It's all the colors plus highlights and darks. It just increases and decreases them evenly. But we can target the specific channels, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel to make this image look a whole lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with the red. We can see we have some red, orange, yellows here. Same thing with the histogram. You see there's not a whole lot of information here on the highlight side and a little bit more here on the darker side, absolute black. But we're going to do the same thing. Hold down Alt Option, click this note. We're just going to start moving that bar until we get some clipping. And then for the highlight side, hold down Alt Option. Now you can see it has, or has changed. Uh, the sunset and the overall color of the picture quite a bit if I turn it off and on. 
And that doesn't look too bad. But we have a lot of blue here too. So we can go here in the blue channel. Do the same thing. Hold down Alt Option. Click. Then we're going to move until we start seeing blue clipping. So there we go. And then the same thing on the highlight side of the blue channel. There we go. Starts coming in. Now we can see the image has become really blue. We still have quite a good sunset there. And we're going to target the green channel too, just because there's not a whole lot of green in here. We're going to go just until we start ever so lightly see clipping. There we go. So this is what we went from. This is what how the picture looked. And this is what we're gone now in a couple of minutes. And it looks pretty good. And this gamma here is the uh, the midtones. So if you drive it to the right, you can see we take away green, make it lighter, and then to the left it gets more green. We're just gonna take it a little bit up to the right on the green channel, go back to the master channel, and then lighten up here the image just a little bit, which means we can go back here into the red channel and just adjust it ever so slightly more to get that more popping sunset here. And we're gonna go the same way into the blue channel. And then go back to the green here. Just adjust it a little bit over to the side. That's uh, how you use the curve, uh, sorry, not the curves, the levels adjustment uh, layer. That is how you use the levels adjustment layer. And again, we can go back in there. It's not broken you could change the blend modes of it you can see that does different things and the cool thing with affinity photo is that it's live preview of the blend modes so if i like this one that's good or we just keep it at normal the output black level and output white level, we're not gonna go into too much because this is mostly used for soft proofing. And we're not gonna get into that on this uh, video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell button as well. And uh, stay tuned for more Affinity Photo uh, tutorials.